Hello, my Paco. Kimo Kuleohanu, Poe no. My name is Kimo Kuleohanu. Mahalo for the opportunity to testify today. I'm speaking on behalf of myself, my Ohana, and Anakala Robert Ibanez, who could not be here today due to medical reasons. I won't spend my time talking counterpoints to the ridiculous arguments and accusations based in nonsense that are being spun by TMT, their PR firm, <coughs> UH, the current administration, um, as I'm sure they have and will continue to be well refuted today. Nor will I waste time discussing the legality of the proposed rules as they are illegal under numerous US, state, United Nations, and international laws. Everyone in this room knows that this attempt at emergency rulemaking has no more to do with public safety than Lauren Thurston and his committee of safety had to do today. This is clearly a conspiracy to stop Kanaka Maoli as well as non Kanakas from exercising their civil, constitutional, and indigenous rights in protecting Mauna Kea, our history, and our culture. This is clearly evidenced by West Hawaii today's release of internal emails between members of this board and other agencies in the current administration. But I would like to talk about what you as a board can do. You can fulfill your kuleana to your own mission statement to enhance, protect, conserve, and manage Hawaii's unique and limited natural, cultural, and historic resources held in public trust for the current and future generations of Hawaii Nei. This is nothing there is nothing natural, cultural, or historic about what is being attempted here today. Please set aside your politics, personal agendas, and the influence of big money and stand up for our people and the very resources you're supposed to be protecting. I ask you, Ms. Case, Mr. Rory, Mr. Downing, Mr. Gomes, Mr. Oi, Ms. Woodside, and Mr. Yoon, who and what is it that you stand for? Our people and our aina, or big corporations and their money. In closing, I humbly ask you, please rise up, be strong and courageous, stand with us, not against us in protecting our mauna, our history, our culture, and our future, and oppose this emergency rulemaking. For many of us, the sacredness of Mauna Kea is a very real thing. <clears throat> my fifth great-grandfather, Samuel Kaleohano's bones, were carried on the mauna by my fourth great-grandfather, George Kaleohano. And those bones, although they're long gone, are, <clears throat> excuse me, although those bones are long gone, that mauna is just as sacred to me as your grandparents' graves are to you. Only pa. To the last of the Ainalis.